cramming for a test doesn't work. Here's how your brain actually learns. As students head back to school, it's tempting to believe that pulling an all-nighter before a big exam will help you ace it. But decades of research in cognitive psychology tell a different story. Learning isn't just about spending hours hunched over textbooks, it's about how you use those hours. Let's explore the science behind learning and discover the most effective strategies to truly retain information. First, our brains love repetition, but not all repetition is created equal. Instead of rereading notes over and over, the most powerful learning happens through a process called spaced repetition. This technique spaces out study sessions over days or weeks, allowing your brain to strengthen the connections that store knowledge. Each time you revisit the material, you're reinforcing neural pathways, making memories more durable and less likely to fade. But it's not just about timing. How you engage with the material matters too. That's where active recall comes in. Rather than passively reviewing information, active recall challenges you to retrieve facts from memory by quizzing yourself, summarizing what you've learned, or teaching it to someone else. This act of pulling information out, rather than just pushing it in, strengthens your grasp on the material and highlights areas that need more attention. Another key factor is mixing things up. Known as interleaving, this strategy involves studying different subjects or types of problems in one session. Switching between topics keeps your mind alert and forces your brain to make connections, improving your ability to apply knowledge in new situations. Ultimately, modern science shows us that effective learning is less about last-minute marathons and more about consistent, mindful practice. By embracing these evidence-based strategies, spaced repetition, active recall, and interleaving, you're not just preparing for the next test. You're building a foundation for lifelong learning.